hey, whatever you may have uh, seen or heard about me, uh, let me get the combination right here to open the door. There we go. So whatever you may have seen or heard about me on uh, Friday evening is, and I was at the green door on Friday evening, it's probably not true. Um, you know, I, I just want to clarify something here. I was at least 43% sober. So don't believe anything else you saw or heard, okay? The smell of wine and cheese! All right, enough of that. Uh, we won't mention that anymore. Uh, what am I doing here? Oh, yes. I am getting my meter, going back out to that tractor there and doing a little more diagnosing. I think I know what the problem may be. So I'm gonna uh, get my meter out of the drawer here and of course everything is locked. Um, I've got to go get my key. And uh, I, hopefully I can get that tractor started today. I'm going to see if I can lift the front end loader up on this tractor with the skid steer in order to have more room to get to that starter. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, it's up in the air, but I can't get it to stay there. So while I'm working on it, I'll just leave the skid steer in place. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm not getting a good ground on that starter, uh, or the I'm not getting a good connection on the positive wire. I'm gonna do a load check on the battery, but not on the battery, but on the connections on the battery to see if, that, if it's a problem there on the battery connection. Okay, the battery connection seems to be okay. Let me come over here and uh, try this positive wire. Uh, okay, I'm losing a little bit there. So what is happening when I had Farmer's Daughter here the other day checking this? When I am hitting the starter, I'm losing power on this wire. I'm not getting 12 volts here. So, um, I think it's an issue from this wire, I think. All right, what I'm gonna try now is a set of jumper cables running directly from the battery over to here and let's see what happens there. today I'm not really sure how cold it is because my uh, temperature sensor up there on the weather station uh, has quit working it quit working about two weeks ago so I've got a new one ordered so before I take uh, this loader off of the tractor so I can work on the starter I'm gonna climb up there and take that weather sensor down or that weather station and then change the sensor on it. Hopefully that solves my uh, problem with the temperature. Everything else is working on this. Uh, you can see the wind speed there, uh, the, the light and the UV index, all of that's working. It's just the uh, temperature is not working. The rain is still calculating as well. Uh, so I've got the new sensor right here so apparently it is all one piece the rain gauge 
and the thermometer is all one piece. So let me take this down, put that new one on there, and hopefully that uh, corrects my problem. Initially, I thought it was the uh, batteries in here. It takes two uh, AA batteries, lithium. It is solar powered, and uh, the batteries are just kind of a backup for this. So last week I changed the batteries. That did not fix the temperature issue. So let's hope uh, this new sensor does. And uh, there we go. We have a temperature now. So that's good. And it has registered rainfall because of, by me moving this, this cup has gone back and forth. And there, now it's 0 0.05. Okay, let me get the screws back in there. Okay, let's uh, put it back up. Okay, I told you it was cold today. So that uh, thermometer has been back up there about uh, 20 minutes now. So it has adjusted to the temperature 45 degrees. Yep, it's cold out there. Front end loader is off. I'm gonna turn it off. And just for the heck of it, let's see if it starts back up. Nope. Okay, so I've got to trace the wire and figure out if it's the ground or the positive wire. The first thing I think I will do, I'll come back over here, I'll clean both terminals up uh, on the battery, and then where it goes up in here to this junction box, I think, there, I see a little bit of rust. Uh, on those uh, studs there. So I think I'll pull those off and uh, clean them up a little bit as well. And then uh, we'll go from there. Okay, I've cleaned the positive terminal off. Let's see what happens. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, I've cleaned the negative terminal off. Let's see what happens. Nothing. Okay. I think what I'm going to try now is just to run the jumper cables from the negative terminal here over to the starter 
So then that will tell me if it's uh, the starter not making connection against the housing of the tractor. All right, the negative jumper cable is hooked to the starter and to the battery. Let's see what happens now. Okay, that is not the issue. All right, the last thing I know to try is to clean the uh, studs uh, on the block here. Okay, I've taken the step off here in order to get to this junction blo uh, block a little bit easier. Uh, so you can see there's a little bit of rust there on each one of those. So this wire here, this one comes up here from the battery, and then from here, I'm assuming that one goes over to the starter, and this prob this one probably feeds uh, all the other electronics on the tractor. Although we have some stuff in here with maybe some, some type of fuse or circuit breaker there. So let me take uh, this one off and clean it up, see what happens. Okay, this could be part of the issue right here. You see all that rust on the nut. So this is, um, if I'm correct, uh, well, I know this battery or this cable behind here is coming directly from the battery. And I, so then this sits on top of that cable and I believe this one goes all the way over to the starter. And so that would explain why I'm not getting full juice over there. So let's uh, clean this up. The second nut, uh, which is behind the starter cable. So I did go and verify, yes, this is the starter cable. So this is the cable coming directly off the battery. That nut is clean. Everything is clean behind there. So. It's just the head of um, the face of this nut, which was, oh, don't go too far, which was back behind here. So it just wasn't making good contact is my guess. So let me go clean this nut up. I'll uh, brush this cable off and clean that up real good. And we should be good to go. While I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, clean this one up. Uh, I'm not quite sure where that one goes, but it's not going to hurt to clean it up while I'm here. As you can see, everything in there is clean because that is a sealed, a sealed box there. Got a nice gasket going around there, so that is sealed. No issues inside of there. Okay, before I pull this one off and clean it, I've got this one cleaned up. I'm just going to see if the tractor starts now, um, just to kind of continue diagnosing here don't i'm only going to do one step at a time to see what my issue was so this is cleaned up uh, of course the step isn't on here so i need to go around to the other side of the tractor now to try to start it and let's see what happens here there we go that was my problem Hey, and you know what? It did seem to turn over a little bit quicker as well. So, hmm, hmm, interesting, okay. Maybe that was part of my problem with the slow starting. And I know what uh, some of you are gonna say. Well, Farmer MD, that's what you get for using this tractor, plowing snow um, in the worst of conditions out there with all of that salt and everything else. Well. I make money with it. This tractor is sitting otherwise during the winter time doing nothing else. And we've made pretty good money plowing snow over the year. So um, these little issues, I'm, I, can, I can deal with these little issues for the amount of money that uh, we're doing with the snow. Yeah, this year we did not take, actually the last two years tractors have not gone out. We'll still get uh, some, uh, what is, called retainer fees uh, from the county 
um, even if these tractors do nothing, we still get a retainer fee for each uh, vehicle. I, I'm, o I'm okay dealing with these small issues uh, with this rust on here. As I said, uh, we're, we're still turning dollars and making some money with snow. Okay, let me um, pull this one off now. Go ahead and uh, clean it up while I'm here. Okay, this uh, really isn't that bad. It just kind of looked bad from the outside, but uh, you can see there. It's, uh, it's pretty clean. Uh, I'll go ahead and uh, brush it up uh, a little bit anyway. Steps are back on. Shields are all back on. Hood is down. Let's see if it's still going to start. Oh, yeah. Shoo-wee. Shouldn't have been that difficult, but it was. And so some of you are probably going to ask, uh, was my original problem the uh, connection there on that block or was it the starter? Well, I still think it was the starter because I was able to jump it at the starter and it started up. After the starter was rebuilt, you know, it started without jumping it there. When it stopped working, uh, what was it on Friday when we were down working on Farmer's Daughter's truck? You saw me jump it uh, there at the starter and nothing was happening. So, no, the starter was the first issue. And then I think it just trickled down. And then the block over here with the corrosion on it became the second issue after the starter was fixed. Okay, let's hope we have no more issues uh, this, this season with this tractor. All right, uh, that's all I've got today. So, I'm going to say, see ya! Living in a lonely world, she took the me